here at the Vimy Ridge Memorial in France. It was built in honor of all the Canadian soldiers that fought in the First World War. Vimy was just one part of a massive battle, the Battle of Arras. It's the first time we get a chance to distinguish ourselves other than a colony of Great Britain. Generally, we say that this was a turning point in our, in our sovereignty, in our independence. But if you just focus on the first two, that's truth and knowledge. And one thing you're going to notice as we work through the symbols, there is no place on this where it talks about we destroyed the enemy, we are better than everybody else. This monument really captures what it is to be Canadian. First stop was in Cologne in Germany and we went to the big Gothic cathedral there. Most of the time all these facades were painted. So you have to imagine this red or blue coat. People didn't know how to read, it was like a comic to teach them the Bible. The Gothic Cathedral was really big and just like really beautiful. The architecture inside was really surprising and all of the windows. But I guess is how they had to communicate the stories through the Bible because no one could really read. We're at Reichswald Forest Cemetery and the students have been given months to research this particular soldier. When people think of war, they think of people fighting and people passing away. But when we researched William, we learned that he was a Boy Scout and we learned that he only took school up to grade nine. And it made him seem like we were a lot closer to him. And it made us realize that we need to remember the soldiers because they give up everything. Dachau was so overwhelming. Like, you hear all the stories and you learn about it in class. Once you start getting to the places where the prisoners were kept and the gas chambers, that's when you really start to feel pretty emotional. And then you think about what the people that were there have been through and it's so hard to imagine just how hard that was. Another thing that makes Paris unique is that you could often see far in the center of the city. The French love symbolism and so they decided they preferred it to be open. Why did we make it like this? For you. For you. To impress you so that you would always have a sense in Paris of where you are. We're at the Eiffel Tower and I'm so excited. It feels unreal because you see so many photos of the Eiffel Tower and now we're actually standing on top of it. It's so beautiful up here. Paris is incredible. Explorica did a fantastic job having fully customized tour set up for you. The tour guide was absolutely amazing. It's a once in a lifetime trip. We all just really bonded and we became family and I feel like that will stay with us forever. <laughs>